4. A helium-filled balloon spontaneously deflates overnight as helium atoms diffuse through the wall of the balloon. Describe the redistribution of matter and or energy that, accompl that accompanies this process. Okay, so first let's just draw a picture here, right? In this case, we have a helium-filled you know, filled balloon. So let's just say, here's my lovely little balloon. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Maybe it's got like a little blue ribbon there. And inside the balloon, we're gonna have all of the helium atoms. Let's just say we have this, right? Okay. And now it's going to deflate overnight as the helium atoms diffuse through the wall of the balloon. So overnight, these green helium atoms are going to come out of the balloon, right? Now, they didn't say where we were, right? Are we at a house? Are we at a school? Are we in an amusement park? Are we outside? Doesn't matter. The thing is, is that wherever we're at is larger than the helium in the balloon. So let's just say that we are in a house. I think that's easier, right? And the house is much bigger than the balloon. And oh my goodness, let's let's try to get Christina to draw a house. This is a, oh boy. This is a lovely house. Oh my gosh. Uh, that looks like a cute little roof. There we go, pretty good enough. The idea is that the house is bigger, <laughs> the house is bigger than the balloon, right? So, and maybe I'll just close this off over here. Cool. Okay, so here's the house, here's the balloon. As the helium is coming out of the balloon, it's being dispersed into the house, right? So we have one atom going out here, we have another atom going over here, one going out over here. As you can see, as they're entering, they're going in a much larger area. Right? They're allowed to escape the balloon and go wherever they want. We got three more. So maybe one comes over here, one goes up here, and then the other one goes over here. And because of that, the balloon is deflated. Right? So the balloon is kind of like, you know, wah, wah, deflated. It should be on the ground, but, you know, no one cares, right? All we have to do is we just have to talk about the redistribution of matter. So basically, we went from somewhere that had a smaller volume, a smaller encasement, and the smaller volume was in the balloon. So the, the helium atoms went from a smaller volume to a larger volume. And in this case, the larger volume was in the house and they were able to be redistributed into a larger area. And that's what spontaneous reactions do. It's kind of like, you know, passive diffusion or diffusive passive transport in which things go from high concentration to low concentration. But in this terms, we think of it as not really concentration, but matter in terms of volume. So if you have a tight space, those, you know, those atoms are going to seep out of the balloon and try to get as far away as they can as possible. So basically to describe this, this shift in matter, it went from a smaller volume to a larger volume. So somewhere from smaller confinement to a larger confinement. And that's it. I really hope this this helped you out. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to be, you know, talking to you soon. I love helping you guys out. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.